hope y'all like this Frogger music. It lasts for an eternity. You know what? Yeah, Kuchiri, I'm so glad that you participated this year. Seriously, great job. I had a lot of fun. Well, everyone, we are back with Kuso Grande, the bad video game tournament. That's right. If you notice this dancing crappy here, well, that's because it's recurring nightmares. He's here to... He's here to hunt your dreams. Hunt your hopes. He's just here to be a big dancing, like, Kellogg's dude or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what crap he is, except that he's a, a letter of the alphabet. But, you know, he'll go ahead and dance because the, he's introducing one of the most energetic GMs that we have. Please welcome on in the GM, Blasmus Roar. Sorry, Blasmus Roar, if you sent me a new picture, I didn't use it. Ah, crap. Wait, wait. I can change it. I can change it real quick, okay? Hey, Roar. Mm -hmm. Just a second. Do you know how many freaking GM pictures you've sent me? Mm -hmm. Uh... Mm -hmm. uh uh, did that not work? Uh, no. Oh, I know why. Bam. Bam. There. Aha! I had a whole, I had a whole piratey intro about how the pirate flag has nothing to do with this game, too. Actually, the Shrek one was more important because of the green. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Well, there we go. We got, we got your pirate flag up. This is so dumb. Hey, hey, bro. You Guess made what? me go through all of that Guess effort what, to put the pirate... What? Guess what? What? Castilian. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's like, maybe he's a pirate bug thing. I don't even know what this... I can't say that on stream. I can't say his that name, on stream. His, his name is Julian. I learned that recently. His name is Julian? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, why? I just learned that recently by reading the manual. I have to ask, are we playing the NES version? I was calling him Frank because he's a frog pig. Are we playing the NES version? Of course we're playing the NES version. Okay, well, Did good, I give them music? No, I didn't give them music. What do you mean? I'm confused. In the in the NES version, you could choose between either sound effects or music. Oh, you chose sound effects? I did not give them music. <laughs> ah. Okay. <laughs> so no music. They Everybody gotta, get ready be, for Castilian sound effects. They gotta be tormented by the sounds of Castilian. So this is New Game Plus, you see. Yeah. We got, we got this jamming soundtrack when we actually get to it. Uh, and so, so... Yeah, this is New Game Plus, Recurring Nightmares. I recently played Castilian, and then I got roped into GMing on account of people saying, we need people to GM, and I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm available to GM. But I don't really have much games. Yeah. So I guess I'll go play through the entirety of Castilian to give them a slave state. <sighs> so here we are. I'm wrapped up in a warm blanket, even though I'm in Florida. I have no reason to be warmed up and wrapped in a warm blanket, but I'm warmed up in a warm blanket with cozy... Cozy cold drink, and I'm ready for some Castilian action. Yeah, I see the game. It looks like the players are getting ready, aka just sort of chilling here. I didn't. No, it's know. a final Kami. I played the game so recently that I was able to get them to save state in less than 20 minutes. It's fine. I was actually going to put them at stage six because stage six has some stuff, and I think it's literally called the nasty one, um, or maybe that's stage seven. Uh, but I opted to start them at stage five, and I gave them to start in a in a in a wonderful bonus stage. See, because if you make it through the bonus stage, oh, by the way, spam your emotes. Anything green 
because we are getting started. Spam your castles, your green, or your like really gross looking like I don't even We're understand playing. this guy's posture. What are we playing? Are we playing Castilian? Uh, Castle Iron. Oh, I like the music. You did give them music. You lied. No, only on the bonus stage it gives the music. Oh. We've got the Castilian. Oh, T Jackazam gets conveniently hit to stun long enough to be able to go through the Castilian hero. Oh, yeah, we're the Castilian hero. They're Castilian heroes. Oh, yeah. Aren't they just Castilian heroes, these? Don't... And they're like, there's the game. But that's not the game. That's not the game at all. Welcome. Swimmer's delight. To swimmer's delight. It sounds so... like a dessert. I was weary of starting them on this stage because this stage might just have the most complicated nonsense of any of the stages, but I couldn't bypass the opportunity to give them this Castilian hero. Now, I was also kind enough, and by that I mean I started the stage, I stayed earlier than I was originally intending, so I didn't get to kill them enough, uh, to give them an extra life, because I was totally going to give them just one. See, I'm actually of the opinion that this is a good game, uh, but... I... I almost agree with you if the controls listen to you ever. The yeah, there's a little lag. I, I'll agree with that. There's some there's some lag. There's issues. a lot of lag. This game really utilizes the fact that it's on a rotating tower really well. You know what? Never mind. I was wrong. I made a grand error. This would have easily been a do my eyes deceive me match. Well, too bad you didn't actually get to choose do my eyes deceive me instead. We've got eyeballs floating up and down a castle. <laughs> Do those eyes deceive you? <laughs> I mean, it looks like you can shoot them, but you can't. Like, doesn't really do anything. Why do you even have bullets if you can't kill eyeballs? So the game has absolutely garbage traps. It's got no way to know how some things interact with each other. It's got, uh, it's a lot of like, it's, it's like an early trap former. And Tetsuya <laughs> is like plowing through it right now, but I mean, this is the first stage, so this is, is this is the first no, stage of the, of the gauntlet of the the little save state I've got them. This is actually the fifth stage or sixth stage, as we saw. The five bouncing means, of course, five bouncing means that it's six. Okay, everybody. Uh... There is a poll for who will win Tetsuya or Jakuzam. The names are reversed, so don't get tricked. We're just trying to make sure you're paying attention. Yeah, if you are if you just voted for the left one, it's actually Tetsuya, who's on the right on the stream. <laughs> you thought well, that... Yeah, we, we got to play regular tricks on you. Keep you awake. So yeah, good luck figuring out off the top of your head which ones are the are, are breakable tiles. Um, because there's there's no indication. Uh, this game is frustrating. This game is full of hatred. This game is just pain. And I may not have... See? Yeah. Frustration. Hatred. Full of pain. And molecules. Yeah, the thing is, everything that you see that's moving will... It, like, you don't really have health. They knock you down platforms. The biggest thing that you need to do is learn how to avoid uh, the things that are going to knock you down when you need to avoid them. If there are any cases where you need to actually get knocked down by certain enemies. Uh, and also learn how to deal with the pink uh, jack of death. I would call it a jack, like playing jacks. You know, you bounce the ball and you pick up the jacks. I went with molecules while I was playing it. They're methane that, molecules. That's probably how... more accurate. They're methane molecules, because this game is butts. I don't know if that's even the right chemical composition for methane. You know, go find out. I'm working challenge on it. Challenge this. Challenge this. I'll challenge your face. You can challenge my face all day you want, but it's still going to be more beautiful than yours. Methane molecule. That's wow. you, that's the same wow. door. Okay, uh, actually it might be because it's CH4, uh, which means that there is one central atom and four spinning around. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's methane. This game is butts confirmed! It's, butts. it's actual literal butts! 
I I told you 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 did not you doubted me, but for a moment in time. Look at this eyeball pattern. Yeah, here. but you doubted yourself too. I know oh, it. No, Ted, you just had to keep going forward. Oh, poor little castle guy. Hey, that's what the timer says. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Good. Bye. Tet. Nice. Try. <laughs> but sadly, you, you lose. Dead. Goodbye. Time out. Yeah. Back to the swimmer's delight. Why is it called the swimmer's delight? Are you swimming? Because you're about to get dunked. Oh. Like, I know there's a dessert that's called a something delight. Does the game ever require Turkish? you to hit and get hit by an enemy drop through to a lower platform? Yes, it does. Even in this goal. Well, I say goal as if the goal isn't just keep going. See, not only they, they might they find the relief of being on stage six, so if they can somehow get past stage six, into stage seven, and into stage eight, and clear all of that, if they do all of that, they still have to keep playing because the game loops, and I told them they have to keep playing if it loops. Okay, there's a campground in California named Swimmer's Delight. There's a song called Swimmer's Delight. There's Vaporwave remix of it. I don't know. I don't know. It's because he got knocked into the water. What species is this anyway? What, what's this character? <laughs> I feel like he's at least 90% butt. Frog. Frog? I went with frog. I called him Frank the entire time because he's half pig, half frog. But he's only got Sorry. two legs. So I need to read this here from the manual. Okay. Just another day in Gemmerville. You're witnessing a typical sparkling summer morning in downtown Gemmerville. Both suns have risen over the planet Centris, where summer, of course, is the only season. And it is here on the island nation of Gemmerville that the most valuable centuries, diamonds, and sapphires are mined. The island's precious gem deposits are talked about through the Triangulum Galaxy, and they're ver the envy of almost every life form in this corner of the universe. Julius was asleep in his terranium <laughs> when the holographic intercom sprayed out its message. It was the president of Domo Loco and Sons Incorporated. Oh no! Julius, we have a serious situation. The governor has reported that seven alien towers have surrounded the island. If one more appears, the island will be completely enclosed. And the nav reports are almost cut off. The hyperfreighters are trapped. Nothing is getting in or out. I've given the governor my personal promise that Domo Loco and Sons would handle these towers. No one knows what they are, or where they came from, but I want them demolished. Now that's not too difficult a mission, is it? Julius slowly opened his eyes and found the president's personal hologram. Not the one of his secretary was still activated. Wake up, Julius, and topple that tower! As Julius started to say something, the hologram began to dissolve as quickly as it had appeared. Interesting, Gemmerville. Lots of towers in Gemmerville, from what I can see. Uh, They're not supposed to be there! That's why we need to destroy them all! Well, like, why? The alien towers. Alien tower. I'm very confused. Like, these have to be very advanced aliens in order to build seven towers overnight. Tower of Babel? Oh, no. That couldn't ever get completed. No, 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 no. Bowser does that daily. Bowser takes over a kingdom. Bam, eight castles that you have to deal with. I mean, good for Bowser. He, is he an alien? No yelling? I... Crayon! <laughs> oh, poor Crayon. Doesn't know who You're at the wrong stream if you You're think there's the gonna wrong. be no yelling. <laughs> Look, Castle, like, this is this is actually just Bowser and Tetsuya gets to the top of the tower! Come on out, Tetsuya, you did it. Winky face, Topple Tower. Okay, so here's the deal. They're like, if one more tower appears, the island will be completely enclosed. Navaports are almost cut off. Yep. It doesn't seem like they're causing any problems, though, these aliens. Like, is it is that necessarily a bad thing? Why not just focus on, like, making really good cannons? 
Yeah, they definitely asked somebody to make a storyline for this game after it had already been made because there was no reason for this. So welcome to Tetsuya to the nasty one. Uh, I'm impressed that Tet made it through as far as did in such limited time. Um, just fly up and get crushed immediately. Oh my gosh. Here's the fun th entering the Does nasty this have one. Continue? Oh, Does this no. have continues? <laughs> not for these players. Uh, so here's the deal. You're not even the uh, an employee of the, of the government. You're a subcontractor. Yeah. Yeah, guess what? They reached out to a contractor, and the contractor's like, yeah, we'll have Julius take care of it. Yeah, I mean, look at Julius. Do you think Julius isn't going to take the job seriously? Look Honestly, he, he could... T yeah, he needs all the work he can get. He's going to crush this job and these towers and everything about them, unless he falls asleep. Uh, if you leave him long enough alone, he will actually fall asleep, and he's got a small wake-up animation that will absolutely um, get you killed. I mean, maybe uh, maybe there would be people who would pay to, like, have him shake his booty a little bit. Like, I don't know. There are other jobs oh, well, out there. Speaking of shaking your booty. Whee! Yeah, shake that booty. This is the jamming music. By the way, what tower are you starting them on? The fifth tower? Sixth. The They're sixth. In the bonus stage between five to six. Okay. Tetsuya is currently on the seventh tower then, right? Yes. How many towers are there? Eight. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Like, it's okay. You know, take take the job that you want. If you want to topple towers, that's fine. There's always an Evergrande that needs like a whole island of towers destroyed. You can just go ahead and take the job. It's fine. Yeah, exactly, MTI. The manual said there were seven towers, but if an eighth falls, then there's a there's gonna be surrounded. And yet the eighth tower is still here. What's up with that? Maybe they finish building the eighth tower while you're destroying the seventh one. Although I well, feel like it doesn't seem like it's my towers no were gone. Anymore. If most of my towers were gone, I would probably be like, let's just move. Let let's stop this. Let's take a different approach. Yeah. than the one that we're taking right now. We've we've managed to place down our eighth tower, but unfortunately, towers one through three have been dropped, sir. What do we do? Uh, why did we keep working on the eighth tower when one, two, and three were already dropped? Maybe we not the eighth one has the laser. Stupid has a laser. No, but it's also possible that the tower plan was just completely stupid in the first place. We're aliens. That's. Maybe if the... we want to, if we want to mine all the jewels because we're aliens, all we need to do is take one freighter, light speed it into the planet, shatter the dang thing, and then mine the little pieces. Okay, I've got a theory, and it has to deal with magnets, specifically the electromagnetic field of the Earth. Uh, because what if these are aliens? They've never been to Earth before, but they, you know, they made this. They made this the towers. Earth. Maybe. This is an Earth. Whatever. They haven't been to this crappy butt planet. Planet of butts. Uh, oh, Centris. Yeah, which is where your butt is. The Centris. Uh, any, blah, 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 blah. Okay, they show up. Bam. Electromagnetic field is different from what they're used to, so they can't communicate between the towers. So, you know, first couple towers go down. People over at Tower 8, they just keep building. They don't know. They don't know it, we're at war. The implication is that these towers had to be airdropped, okay? These, these towers had to be airdropped in order to actually get through this situation. What, like the pyramids? Please. Oh, I'm surprised Jackazam didn't fall off. That was a good jump. So if you're actually, like, on the last little pixel and you face backwards, you will fall backwards. You'll, you'll fall Please. ass first off the... butt first <laughs> off the... Off the platform. Hey, it's my first swear. You've sworn on my stream. Oh, I did. It's Whee. so. I haven't made that error before. Wow. I know. That was impressive. And I'm one of the uh, most foul mouthed people out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don't come yeah. to my stream if you want clean content, folks, because it doesn't happen. Yeah, I've noticed. But I'm, 
No, I'm actually a huge supporter of uh, using the language that you want to use and being able to. I am a supporter of your foul mouth, Blasphemous Roar. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. That's, that's very... Oh, no! Jakazam, you killed the tower! All right, so Jakazam has now finished the tower. Uh, Tetsuya got to a point in the other one. Uh-oh. Um, this is bad for me because I just realized I have to track how high either of them got in any game time. Uh... Well, I mean... I've made terrible decisions in my life. We're only 15 but... minutes into this. It's fine. Nah, only two Cusa Grandes that I've been a GM, Darkman. Whee! Jack is just a banger, though? That is a banger. I still like that, like, they gave names to the various towers. The nasty one. Ah, welcome to the nasty one. Why is it so, so... nasty? Well, do you see that triple bounce that's over there to the left? That's required. They keep going this way, and that's not the way you go. So Jackazam might be cleverly realizing, yeah, I can't go up there. So what you need to do, of course, we saw Ted do it, is you need to get over there to the other switch. Don't press the button. Don't do it. You don't want to press the other elevator. Yeah, oh, but, but no, there's this not really an go. option. Ah! Yeah. Meanwhile, Tetsuya working on bonus stage two. It actually may be extra worth tries collecting and some down. of the, you know, the extra lives. You do want uh, to have as many tries with the harder towers as you can. So it's worth collecting things in the bonus area. It is, and uh, it's also worth finishing the bonus area because it gives you bonus time on the tower. Oh, that's nice. That's why I started them at the bonus stage, to give them that decision. To let them make these decisions that they have. It's, it's an important part of races. Ah, oh, yeah. Making decisions. Video games in their purest of essence. Do you decide to do the dumb thing? Or do you decide to do the not dumb thing? In Castilian, Castilian cares not which option you have chosen. For all options are the dumb thing. Bye bye, Jack. It, it's pretty much true, yeah. What? They have a continue? I failed. Too bad, Blasphemous Roar. Too bad! I Gotta failed. continue. I have made grave errors. <laughs> I wasn't, I was expecting, I was trying to start them off at this stage. I wanted to start them off at the nasty one, but then I saw the bonus stage was Castilian Hero, and I just couldn't, I couldn't, like, I had to let them be Castilian Heroes. If they're going to deal with an hour of Castilian, I needed them to at least be Castilian Heroes. Yeah. I mean, there is a hypothetical possibility that somebody could beat the game if they figure out Tower 8 really quickly. Hypothetical again. I just want to say why, that, but it's possible. Why is Roar like this? I was trying. I, I, the only answer I could possibly come up with is that, like, when somebody goes, Who hurt you? The answer to that with me is a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Why is Roar like this? <laughs> Roar, I got to step oh, away for a few a minutes. Book. So uh, feel free to go ahead and keep. Guiding uh, people through this experience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, be back in a few. <laughs> I know this. Issue. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. Leaving you alone, but I'm going <laughs> to anyway. After talking about that, so Tet Te is uh, Tet is making his way up to the the wonderful tower of. Uh, th this is our. A nice instance of pain where we need to get past and slip past this jerko but there's also this rotating jerko over there and oh that's right the pitfall that you need in order to get away from him is uh gone it's a it's a bad platform it doesn't exist you try to land on it but it's got no mercy for you it's got no love for you this game does not love you i know that because i know the feeling of things not loving me okay when they're supposed to. Okay. I thought this game loved me, but I didn't know. I mean, so I gave the state for it. Oh, I love you, chat. I love you and I love I love the players that are 
that are that are willing to sacrifice their their safety for my amusement. How do I really feel? I feel like maybe I should stop with the fake tears when I'm not trying to actually cry because they actually do flow because I can cry on command. Yay! Five hundred dollars for this session. Hmm. I did not approve the charges. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to sue you now. I didn't sign a contract. So how do you all feel about this game, chat? How does how does watching what they are doing right now? See, they could have had this jam in music too this entire time, and then all oh, to see gets knocked down because it bounces off. <laughs> Yeah, somebody recommended this to me when I was, like, trying to figure out what to play one day, and they're, like, Castilian. I think it was some girl who was, like, pointed it out. And I was like, all right, let's do this. And then Misery followed for the next, like, two months. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, like I was saying before, this game actually uses the fact that it's on a round tower really well. Really well. The controls, the movement, are clunky. The, the the enemy placements are mean and cruel and vicious. It has an absolute terrible troll at the end of the game. It is a vicious, lying, cheating jerk of a game that needs to be squashed, but it so teeters upon good. It teeters on it, but instead it just hates you. And, and I just can't do it anymore. I just can't be okay with this. Game the torment to be so long. Now the good news is both players do know their way through the first stage here, but or the seventh stage here, sixth stage here. But uh well as we can see that doesn't really help too much. Oh no, 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 gravel pee. I'm actually better about that than most of the people around here. I don't I don't speedrun ever anything for any reason. It's safer that way. There's so many games out there I gotta play. I can't just sit there and play one game forever. That's that's so mean to all the rest of the games that need to be played. Cause that's just, there's, ah, I'm stuck right now in like, with my backlog is full and I've got like, trying to finish Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2, but it's like long game and I want it gone so I can play other games, but I can't because I got other games in my backlog too. I still gotta do puzzles and, and Fire Emblem for some reason. And... Uh, Mr. Torture, I'm currently on level six, seven of the dead, six. I'm on the fairy wing level. I play it casually sometimes when I'm waiting for something to happen. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jackazam couldn't make it across the bonus stage. I am not a true gamer yet. I have no idea what you're supposed to do to get real gamer percent. One plays the deck casually by playing it for about five minutes in, in maybe a stage and then shutting it off for the sake of sanity. So this start is vicious for Jack as Am's trying to figure it out, but Tetsuya has actually figured out the start of it. Just needs to actually be able to get past the guy up here. All right. This is good, this is good, this is all false, you know it to be true. Search your heart, search your soul. And up and down, up and down, forward and back, go down, no, 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 go down! Tetsuya, it's actually safe to go down on that one, but the game is a jerk! <laughs> yeah, so it's actually safe to go down on the, the, the top floor there, to, to step into the little crevices in order to actually save yourself, but you wouldn't know, because the game's a giant jerk. Your Ted's gonna wait for this to come all the way around 
Bounce off. Come all the way back down. Just go, go, go. Yeah, Onimusha is good. See, that's why you got to play new stuff. You'll never know what's an actual good game until you find what the, the games. I'm currently playing through... Um, what was the recent... There was a recent game that I really enjoyed that I had to play, hadn't played before. Right? No, actually, I've played through all these games that I've played recently, or games I've played. Oh, never mind. I lied about that one. I now I'm playing good games. It's because I'm currently, like, trying to play through all of the series that are associated with... Uh, all the series that are represented in Smash Bros. Uh, so, a lot of Final Fantasy, you see, but that was already the start. Everybody knows that I've already played way too much Final Fantasy and way too much Mega Man. Do you have, Bro, to have you play... played too much Mega Man? Uh, I've played a lot of Mega Man. I haven't beaten a lot of Mega Man, but I've played a lot. Do I have to play what? Every Final Fantasy? Because... I'm currently working on Final Fantasy 14, and I've already beaten Final Fantasy 11. Yeah, I... Uh... 600 hours. I need to... I, I need to get back into Final Fantasy 14 fairly soon, because... Uh... I... Love it. It's good. It's really fun good. Fact, fun fact, tormenting Jackazam right now is fantastic because I'm so sad that she hasn't caught up to us in the main story quest so we can raid the good stuff. Ugh. Okay, I... Uh, I've beaten a Realm Reborn. I am currently going through... The... The Sword one. Heaven's Ward? Yeah. What, what data center are you on? Uh... You know, the Excalibur? That one? I think that makes you on Aether? I don't yeah, know if it's Aether I, I, or Primal. I should be on Aether. Yeah. Oh. Unfortunately, I'm on Primal. Can't Dumb. play with you. Dumb. Wait, or am my, I on Primal? My wife is on, on Primal. primal? Oh my god! Oh, you're on Primal. Oh. Well then, if y'all want to play Final Fantasy at any point, hit me up, you know? I'll play some Final Fantasy. I'll add you to the... We have a cross-world link shell for Kuso and for Mystery Funhouse stuff. Oh, yeah. I uh, I was one of the first people on that cross-world link shell. See? The, the Kuso one, not the Mystery Funhouse one. Nobody invited me to that one. Because you haven't been on when we try, when I've looked at stuff or oh, something, okay. or you haven't said anything. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Okay, okay. I know that we're watching a giant green butt walk around, but sure, I'll, I'll, I'll start back up on Final Fantasy XIV. This week, I'm making a promise, okay? Because I could say eventually I'll get around to it, but no, I'm doing it this week because guess what? I keep playing the same games over and over and over again and making zero progress. And so I should play something that I can make like 0.1% progress. Huh? There you go. Yeah. There you go. Like we're, we're, we're currently, we've been actually this last few or this last month, we've been currently doing, um, we're on, uh, turn five coils on minimum eye level we got her down to four percent we were really happy so we're hardcore raiders yeah all right we're also in heaven's ward though so you can join us i just may i i would say that i need an excuse <laughs> but i don't really need an excuse uh honestly uh, you know I've, I've been thinking about things uh because i definitely need to do more streaming if i want streaming to become uh, an even bigger thing for me than it is right now and that honestly gives me a good reason to just sort of sometimes hop online i don't always have to be online at streaming final fantasy 14 but occasionally just popping it on and playing I think would be something doable. Yeah. yeah. You, just, you, just, you just chill for a bit. And, and that's what I'm doing right now, is I'm still trying to make sure that Final Fantasy doesn't eat my entire uh, life while playing other games because of how much of other games I've played. I mean, I've played every single Final Fantasy game in order until uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2, which is currently holding me back a little bit. Um, and I've played every single Mega Man game up to Mega Man X7, which is like 40 of them. Wow. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> I mean, oh, I've, also, I've also successfully played every single Ice Climbers game. Oh, how many are there? One? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, 
yeah, people are talking about the server queues uh, in Final Fantasy XIV, and that's largely the reason why I have not even attempted to play it recently. Uh, but if those are better now... So are, they... now are you saying are you saying play X-Dive? Because I did play X-Dive for a while. I dominated the arena because I used controller. Dominated. Okay, server queues are a little bit better, but they won't. But after Tuesday, they'll be even better. Okay, there we go. After Tuesday, I can start doing Final Fantasy XIV again. Or on Tuesday. I don't know. Uh, by the way, everybody, just so you're aware, it, uh, I am getting my liver biopsy on Thursday. So, yeah, I don't know if that gives any information, but they're going to be... They're gonna be taking a little piece of my my stupid liver. Hashtag liver problem gang. Wait, are you part of the liver problem gang? I just have. There's currently a spike in my enzymes, and we gotta figure out what's going down. Oh, yeah. They're like, hey, uh, we are going to do this to uh, confirm if you have cirrhosis because all signs point to yes so far. Even the freaking colonoscopy, they're like, yeah, it points towards you having liver problems. I'm like, you can tell that from my butt? Yeah, they can tell a lot of stuff from the butt, don't you know? It's well, like, I know like now. It's like you've never watched the Scrubs musical episode. I, I haven't. I have watched oh, maybe an episode of Scrubs. Chat goes down! No, time out! But that somebody gets time. past that area! But still, that was... That was <laughs> a pretty good push. <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? I just want to go get Chatty's loot! It's fine. This is safe tower for us! <laughs> no, we're, we're gonna... It's fine. It's fine. Calm your butt. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, I love it. No, no, karma crying. <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, I was looking at different ways that they can do liver biopsies. One is like, oh yeah, they, they put a spot, you know, they put a needle into your stomach and go to the liver and it's like, okay, that makes sense. The, uh, then the second method is like, they put a n needle into your jugular and go through your jugular down to your liver. And I'm like, no, don't do that one. Do, do, the, one, do the one through my stomach, please. Okay, direct, do the direct stomach. Direct approach, please. Yeah, direct approach. I don't want the jugular one. Nope. So, uh, I, I'm i pretty sure they're not doing the jugular one, but if for some reason they do, then my doctor may officially be a vampire. Did I, I told you about my surgery recently, didn't I? Uh, the hand one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, A okay. little bit. Well, yeah, they, they let me look inside. It was cool. Inside your hand? Inside my hand. Ooh. I wouldn't want to look inside someone else's hand, but inside my own, I think I would I be okay was, with that. He was even like, he's even like, here, move your hand about, and you can see the muscles moving, and I'm like, oh, this is so dumb! Okay. Yeah, that makes me very uneasy to hear you describe it, but I totally would. Right? Yeah. Like, if you're given an option, when the surgeon says, do you want to look inside, the answer is, yeah, I do. I want to see my skeleton. Oh my gosh. Justin had to finally be like, could you move these papers? They were on a desk between us and uh, they were paper or they were pictures of my colonoscopy. I'm like, yeah, I guess you've had these butt pictures sitting here for a while. <laughs> I'll go ahead and move them. Sure. Uh, yeah, Jackazam is actually catching up quite a bit, everybody. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's stop talking about my blood and talk about. Yeah, let's. These. This that guy, would be great. Julian. By the way, his Julian, eye uh, is Frank. Like... What? Frank, as I like to call him. I called him Frank the whole time I was playing through because I didn't know his name was Julian. And you know what? I don't care if it's Julian. It's Frank. His eye kind of looks like an egg. Like. Just over easy. <laughs> yeah, like the yolk is very dark, but maybe it's like not an American egg. Maybe it's some alien egg. I don't know. 
Well, I mean, that's fair. It is. We are dealing with all, all other planets and it's jewel mines and planets and stuff. All right, so Ted knows what to do here. We go jump, 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 run, jump, run, up. Ooh. And we're through. Now run, 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 jump, run, 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 jump, run, run, jump, run, jump. Stay down, stay down, oh, stay down, Ted. Oh. You can't make it one at a time. You have to stay down. He well, can't hear you. You're right. Nobody can I hear just, you. Actually, I think my neighbors can. Oh. Well, I could mute you so that nobody could hear you. I think my Except roommate for your could. Neighbors. Yeah, my roommates, my, my, you know, you're right, fine. Yes, no. I'm muted now. So no, now that I'm no, muted, I can talk about, you know what, it's fine. I've, I, it's, it's just, I. It's fine, everybody, it's fine. Just, Last Roar just yells, that's all. Don't worry about just, it. It, it just, I just thought the one time that I would be fine with being myself, and no, every time, every time. Every time people say, be yourself, it's fine. It's never fine. They're not okay with me. They don't understand who me is, and then it causes me problems, and then I have nowhere to live again. What Time the crap out. are you talking about? Time <laughs> <laughs> if being yourself is complaining all the time, then you can go ahead and be someone else, Blast Miss Roar. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> that's, that's probably fair. Yeah, that's a little mean. Oh, I'm, I'm being a little mean boy. I'm sorry. Uh, did, 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 did the way you talked like that was very, like... Uh, 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 talk to Justin like that, not me. I talk to everybody like that. Kinky. <laughs> I mean, I I guess if you consider like talking about problems, you know, kinky, then oh boy, kink it up. Oh yes, I do. Ooh. <laughs> I sure do think problems are hot. Oh baby, <laughs> what have I done? What have I done to this stream? Like this stream was child friendly and innocent, and then I'm here, and now it's all. We've been Just... sitting here watching the same <laughs> section of a tower for five yes. minutes, okay? <laughs> this is, this is, this is my, see, everybody gives games that are possible, right? I just give them impassable X-Men levels. Okay. Like, this, like, uh, this, this game is doable. It's just butts. Jaxxam got past one of the major kill, choke points, but stay down, stay, stay down. down. Stay, oh. stay down, stay down, no! I still think that might have been a little more horizontal progress than Tetsuya, but I'm not mm. sure. No. Nope. Tetsuya, I believe, has gone up that lever. Well. Oh, man. You know. Because Tetsuya knows to stay down now. I get really excited when we see the other part of this tower that we have been watching the like for the last five to ten minutes. It's great. We're getting we're getting up there. Now which of these four switches is safe? Is it the third switch? Oh, the third switch seems to be going somewhere. Oh, oh, it went up. It went up. That's good. Where do we what go Tetsuya now? may need to do is Oh no! Fall. Where do we go now? Up? Ow, 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 up ow, all ow, the way! Ow, where do that we is go the now? end of the town! Blow it up, Julian! Nuke it! Yeah. I love the little wink before he absolutely destroys these aliens. Oh yeah, he's just like, wink. I imagine, like, every person who works in demolition winks before they push the button. Uh, can confirm. Oh, really? How many demolitionists do you know? Uh, I did one demolition job. That makes me a demolitionist, and I went before pressing the button. Really? No, I've never pressed the button, man. I only hit things with sledgehammers. Okay, do you wink before you swing? Oh, you're right, I do. <laughs> okay. Good. Every time, you gotta, gotta go for the big wink and then just wham. Also, I learned, never take the sledgehammer directly to the top of the desk because wood is flexible. And uh, yeah. your head yeah. is not very good at hitting, taking sledgehammer blows. Yeah, that's very true. You want to go against something that is brittle. Tetsuya is now in the last stage of the game. There's four, the Edge of Doom. 
Just go ahead. Just go. Just go. You Not can do the it. Rubik's you gotta cubes. have guts. You no. gotta have guts, kid. <laughs> gotta have guts, dude. The edge of doom. That's <laughs> another quote from earlier. <laughs> Could apply here. <laughs> Keep it up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes another death by I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. gonna get banned. Okay, nope. This is a PG-13 stream. We're gonna keep it that way. You're gonna get. You're gonna get banned from your own channel. Well, I'm gonna get banned from Cusa Grande. From my... All right, everybody, you heard it. It's my job now. Cusa Grande is under my leadership as a, the that's, new Cusa Grande leader. That's I not true. I declare that not true. every third weekend is X Men weekend and only X Men. We just won't stream those weekends. <laughs> <laughs> no, Alopex. I stopped. I stopped testing in mystery tournaments so that I can stop having to accept puzzle games. <laughs> uh, uh, testing oh. drives you insane. Yeah, oh, like Sorry, I I'm joke in... about the number of puzzle games that are on mystery tournament, but at the same time, it's not really a joke, you know? There is there's, there's, there is a large amount. There is no denying that. I actually really like most of the puzzle games that I've gotten, though. Uh... But the last, the last mystery tournament th game that I got wasn't a puzzle game. It was sports games, and it was, or like, car driving games. It was so fun. Hey, I mean, that's the thing, is that mystery tournament is seriously a grab bag of whatever you're going to get. You really don't know. You don't know if you're going to get a puzzle game. You don't know if you're going to get suddenly a driving game. You don't know if you're going to get whatever the heck Snowdos are developed this year. <laughs> Uh, have you seen the one-dimensional game? Uh, no. It's a game where you have, where you're presented with only like a one-dimensional line at the top of the screen that you need to figure out where oh, you are wait. on the top-down map and put down markers just knowing by the position of that one-dimensional line. I think I've seen stuff about it. I want to play that, okay? I really, really, really want to play that. All right, Jack Sam, which one is it? Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? It's not one! What no! is the... Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Okay. Go up three. Go up three. Is it four? Is it four? Oh, no. The bouncy ball is bouncing. The ball is bouncing and bouncing. Watch out. Oh, going back down. It's Jack's not three. Like, okay, I don't she says like not that. four. Going to two. Ah, uh, the ball, the, uh, they're like coconut bowling balls. I don't like them. They're everywhere. They're, they're coming for you. They're coming for you, and you can't do anything about it. These ones aren't coming for you, but they Whoa. will be soon. No, fall. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> JK, nothing's fine with this game. Uh, honestly, though, you yeah, know, Tetsuya. Yeah. coming very close to, to Tet, though. Yeah. Like, if she can figure to finish this level... Uh, all she has to do is get past the four Rubik's Cube, and she is past Tet. Tet didn't get past those four Rubik's Cubes. But yeah. But then again, who can solve a Rubik's Cube, huh? Nobody. And if they My can, brother. they're lying. Oh, no! Oh, no, we're... No, watch out for the demon pink! Ah, the bowling ball! Everything's no! gone super wrong for Jack and Sam at this point! 26 seconds left. It's yeah. And she never hit the third one. Yeah. The demon pink. Yeah. Uh, look at it. It's it's the the methane molecule. Coming for you. Your nose is so big that even inhaling methane instantly kills you. Nah, it just knocks you down three towers. Well, I mean that kills most people. The the fall. Well, she went up the third one, which is correct, but unfortunately... Well, the players are learning the layout of the seventh level. That's that's the good part. The down part side is that they still have to learn the layout of the seventh level and achieve it at the same time. 
that's a little less uh, kind because they have to do that. Oh, Ted, so you didn't kick the ball to the back. Doesn't have to. Doesn't actually have to. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm I'm just really enjoying that. You know, it's been so long since we've had a solid day of Kusagrane. Having four matches today makes me really happy. And honestly, we're getting so close to the end of the tournament. We're going to wrap up. Everything will be hunky-dory. I'll... Uh, I'll you're going to say it? I'll, you're gonna, I'll you're... get prizes out. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Sure you will. Oh my gosh. I'm just thinking, like, I... I think I can do it. Like, I'm, I'm going to do it. Like, ugh, with all the medical bills that are coming, it's going to be a little bit tighter for me, but, you know, it's, it's part of the tournament. I have to give them out, and I will. Uh... Are you well, trying to pity party my twisted pair? <laughs> Please never say I've that been, sentence again. I have been waiting for twisted pair for two and a half years, Brosentia. I won my first bracket match fair and square in two so four. Did I not you send that? You asked me for my address, but I never got it. Did I not? I was pretty sure I sent it. I got fateful findings. I never got twisted pair. Huh? I I don't even know what to say. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I'm lying or not. Okay, before searching blah blah blah. Uh no, you, number three I, I, I think I ordered that for you. Did it never arrive? It never arrived. I've never got it. Okay, I'm gonna have to go have a word with Neil Breen, okay? Not about the quality of his movies, but about the quality of his delivery service. Right? Like, oh, Jackazan makes it up the top. This is a turnaround point. This could actually turn around this match right here, right now. It is possible. Can she make it past the four Rubik's Cubes at the start that all you need to do is move forward? Oh no, Flannel Cat, you never got faithful findings? You haven't reminded me. You gotta it's remind okay. me ten remind times. It. Ten? Ten? I've literally reminded you every single time I've ever... Oh, wait, I might have only GM'd like ten times. Oh, no. I have no idea. I haven't been doing my job okay. this year. Let me let me look. What? I'm still gonna be in the GM list next year because I'm not participating, but I'll hope to have games, but I might not. So, like... All right, Jackazam. Believe. Achieve. Move forward, Eve. Nope into the water okay october 14th of last year let me see if i can go back to that october okay 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 because that's when okay. i Goes supposedly forward. ordered uh, it crushed Dakazam has now made more progress forward than tetsuya has has now taken the lead just that easily wait what the crap Oh, I guess that's a <laughs> uh, fun story. So I guess I owed you and Okami Twisted Pair, and I guess I got it for Okami, but I forgot to get it for you. So <laughs> just a sec, just a sec. Let me let me see. Let me see. Uh, films. Well, okay, so there's that. Let's scroll up, scroll up. Maybe, maybe there was another one. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe. Well. Okay. <laughs> Okami, you got it at least, right? <laughs> I'm really hoping you got it. <laughs> For such a problem, I didn't even notice I left. I am so bad at this okay he did get it good hey jakazam is making some jakazam and tetsuya are making progress in tower eight we've got a match and we should stop talking about all the things that i owe everybody 
<laughs> that's exactly what somebody who owes so many people twisted pair is gonna say. No, that's not how long enough check is him. No, Whee! Oh, splish. Splish splash. Okay, so there's actually a really strong trick to this stage, by the way. The trick is do not destroy the balls. So we actually have a way to hit that blinking square um, from a different location. And what you want to do in order to not have troubles later is that if you avoid hitting these balls, you can actually stop because of the limited amount of enemies on screen or in the stage at any given time. You can stop enemies above from spawning, which are really, really, really hardcore pain in the butts. So if they were to somehow ignore the balls and come over here, get to the other side, kick this square, and then jump up that ladder, which I've done. I don't remember how to do it. But if you do that, you can keep the balls spawned in and despawn enemy or prevent other enemies. And we're gonna see those pain in the butt enemies if they get there, hopefully. You can see them bouncing up and down right now on Tet's screen. So now we need to go to the last little pip on the road there and fall down. Okay, you know what? I am a we're ordering Twisted Pear oh, literally no, no. right now during the stream. Ted did it, but but you have to jump onto that square because otherwise it it'll cause you to move forward and fall to your death. Okay, everybody. I'm How do I order the no, Okay, I think the reason I keep not getting the Neil Breen movies is because by the time I remember how to order them, like, I've lost interest. <laughs> because his website, like, you have to go to his private website and then go through this whole PayPal blah, blah, blah. Let's see. It's just a huge pain in the butt. Thank you so much, Neil Breen. Okay. So, so I'm, right I'm now, go by ahead the way, blame Neil. It's Neil's fault. By the way, in the race at this moment, um, Jackazam is currently. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. So what you do is is to, to do the thing, um, I meant to say Tetsuya is currently in the lead by falling down to their death first, from the same way that Jackazam fell to her death. Uh, so what you do is you come up here off this, off this elevator right here, right? And then you warp across, like, in that door, and then you jump across... No, okay. right. What you do is you come across this door at the start, and you go to that last last tile, jump across it in order to break it and fall down, and then you jump off that tile to the right, the, the flashing tile to the right, and then you jump and kick it away, and then jump back onto that tile, and you'll keep the balls in play, which you can use to despawn the top enemies. Yeah. Uh, Syro, that is not necessarily true because these mid these maps have to be cleared within two minutes. So like, we still have ten minutes. This can we still have seven minutes. This can turn around. This can absolutely turn around. There, it's been ordered. Your movie has been ordered. You are getting twisted pair. Okay. Oh my god! After all these years, I'm finally gonna watch it. It was literally last year's movie, okay? No, yeah, maybe, yes, no, because I was a GM last year. It was literally the years before the movie. Final, ca okay, okay, let's just roar. Well, let me see, did you ever send me your address, huh? I can't believe we finally got Procentia ordering prizes. All right, Tet is going to try to jump in to dodge the molecule, but does not successfully dodge and get soft locked. Not soft locked. Can wait for the molecule. Just wait for the molecule. It'll save you. It'll save you. But oh my god. Well, okay. So, quick question for Flannel Cat. Okay. Okay. We're Faithful good. Findings, I believe, is available to watch for free on Amazon Prime. Do you have Amazon Prime? 
No, Ted, you have to jump onto it. You do? In that case, are you going to see in that case the prize right now? Because the prize was within Amazon Prime. <laughs> 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 But seriously, uh, we, we could do a watch back. party. I would love that. That would be great. Cat, I'm mad for you. I could, like, seriously, though, every once in a while, I'm like, I, I, I message people. I'm like, I know I owe you a prize. And then they never respond. I and responded I'm like, day of. Okay, yeah, you, of. you did. But... <laughs> I think what distracted me was that as soon as I saw your address, I was like, I want to see what neighborhood that is. And then I oh. just, like, looked, and then I got distracted by Google Maps, and I was like, Google Maps is so cool. Yeah. Jump, then... jump, Ted. Jump, Ted. Really? You're just like, I, okay, my competitor has given me their, their address. Now I'm going to stalk them. Okay, but, like, literally, uh, I've done the opposite of stalk you because I've sent you nothing. <laughs> Tet, you just need to jump, jump, Tet, jump, jump, Tet, jump. You have to break that block. If you jump down there without doing that, you're gonna die. Don't do it, Tet. Don't do it, Tet. Tet. Don't do it, Tet. No. Time for smushings. <laughs> yeah. That is Tetsuya's last life. Is that his last continue? I believe it may be. That's it. That's it. Well, that's game for Tet. Well, in that that's case, as far as Tet can go. Is Tet still in the lead, though? Yes. Tet is in the lead by virtue of both players getting to the exact same spot. Only Tet fell to his death the same way, like, a minute earlier. Cat. <laughs> Good. I'm glad that is your reaction, Tet. I'm glad that that's how you feel about this game. Yeah. Yeah, that's a- that's an understandable reaction. Okay. Put the cat over the, over Julius. <laughs> this is perfect. Oh, the perfect game. Julius can't go through, or cat can't go through the doors though. Poor cat. So okay. at this point, Jackazam is still playing. I don't think there's any way to get back to where she was before. Oh, Tetsu. Okay, good job. <laughs> really, really trying here. <laughs> Doing a pretty good job. Oh, woo, woo. Yeah. <laughs> when, when you rather do that than try to play the game any further. I want to tell you all that sometimes I do talk about the games that are happening. <laughs> but today is one of those rare cases where, honestly, there's not much to say about this game. <laughs> Dude, well, because we saw it so much of it, the same thing. That was the same problem with Accident recently with me. That was the same problem with, well, Castilian. It's the problem where the game is so dang hard that they're not making any progress. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It It's fine, though. Like, we need matches like this every once in a while. Matches where we get to sit back and where I get to order prizes for you. Yeah, uh, I am so hyped to watch that scene where he jumps to the, like, top of... Or jumps up a floor. I'm really glad I was, like, finally able to remember because you told me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was finally able to remember. Th all thanks to you incessantly nagging me about it. Yeah, and uh, guess what? Thanks to all the people who are supporting this stream, I can also get this year's prizes out to people a year or two late, you know? Heck yeah. <laughs> Why mess with tradition? I really don't want that to be tradition. I just, like, I have ADHD pills now. It should be easier.
a year or two or five, it's never taken me five years. Because I've already forgotten about those people. <laughs> no, Ted's no. keeping it up. Ted's no. just keeping it up. Okay, whatever. I'm 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 done. I'm done with this audio. We're gonna stop the timer in just a second, okay? What you're done with this amazing song? You know what? Well, no, I muted it because we're done. Okay, I'm listening to Final Fantasy three music now because I'm done with it. This is was... this is the last battle. No, it's like. The, the well, Silk's no. Tower. It's the tower music. It's good okay. stuff. Gotta climb that tower. Keep climbing, baby. Let me see if they want to come join chat. <laughs> uh, so how do you feel that they did overall? I think they did well. I think they did pretty well. I didn't yeah. expect them to clear the nasty one. They did. That was really impressive. It was a nasty tower. Those nasty towers. Mm. It was. It was a nasty tower. Oh my gosh, and they, they figured it out and they cleared it, especially when you don't have some of the knowledges that the earlier stages give you. Yeah, seriously, nasty tower. I'm just thinking of Janet Jackson's song. Oh, damn nasty boys. Damn nasty boys. Mm. If you've okay. never heard that song, you have to listen to it all the way through because you will gonna... laugh. Uh, it's called gonna... Nasty Boys. <laughs> I'm gonna spare myself of that. <laughs> no, it's worth it. Okay, you will laugh so hard. Uh, Jack is up, Tetsu, you're welcome, and congrats getting through the nasty tower. <laughs> oh, that was that was a rude one. <laughs> does anybody does anybody want to guess how far you both went? Uh, I know exactly how far I went. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, do, do you do you have any idea how well this race went? I have no idea. I I felt bad about that the whole time, so oh, I'm not sure where I'm at. Both of you made it to the exact same perfect spot. Nice. Dying at that exact same thing. <laughs> Tetsuya did it first. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is a tie uh, with Tetsuya winning the tie due to having done it first. That's actually really impressive. And you know what? We really didn't talk about the game much during this stream. <laughs> I gotta be honest because there was a lot of the very same thing happening for about an hour. <laughs> yeah, that. I, I feel like Sisyphus pushing a rock up a hill was a <laughs> euphemism for just a man being made to play this game in ancient Greece forever. <laughs> Oh, so this is the legend. Yeah. Ah, Sisyphus is this just a spin-off. Well, yeah, it, it's a translation else? error. It means nasty one. <laughs> oh, damn, nasty boys. Mm. Everybody, so everybody nasty. told me that this game was good, and that they, I don't know if it's all that worthy for Kuz Gron. This game's so good, is what they said. What do you it, feel? It's on the line there. Like, the controls alone... Like, if the controls were any better, I would say it's just, like, normal NES fare and probably wouldn't be a Kuso game. But I'm not sure if everyone is aware. Like, I asked for a manual before this. Roar's like, here's a Game Boy manual for the Game Boy version of the game. It's pretty much the same. Both jump and shoot are on the same button. In an NES game with two buttons, both actions are on the same are button. Are you serious? <laughs> both of them are on the same that part. This is a C64 port. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that makes sense. I mean, I guess. As much as it can make sense, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, they didn't really think that through, I'm gonna say. Yeah, it's... It, it controls interestingly. It's it's not the worst I've ever played, but it's not good, man. Like <laughs> you only jump when you're moving. So to actually get a jump going, you have to make like a micro step, and that can be enough to send you hurtling over the edge into an invisible platform and then off the side. Yeah, and honestly, a lot of those jumps are extremely tight. Like. Uh, you know, every time I saw you fall, I'm like, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Jack is, it's not your fault. It's just this game. Yeah, I, I feel like Jack probably got a walled at the same spot I did with the, the springs, right? I don't 
I don't even remember. Probably. <laughs> there was one part where things were like synced up in just the wrong way and yeah. this one thing kept turning around on me at the last second every time. Yeah, that sucks so um, bad. The start of that stage, because I'm staring at it right now and I'm remembering, I went right first and I'm like, okay, let me see what's here. And I, I did some stuff, I was like, okay, that wasn't so bad. But there were like those three, are, are they springs? I don't know what they are, those things bouncing up and down there. Three of them bouncing up and down off the left side of where you start. And I was like, all right, I need to find out what's over there. And I spent like, I feel like I spent like five minutes trying to get past those three springs to the left. I finally lined it up right, got up onto the elevator, rode the elevator up. I'm pretty sure it killed me. Oh no. I wanted to start you off on that tower, but I couldn't, ri I couldn't pass up the opportunity to start you off as Castilian heroes. I just, I couldn't pass that chance up. <laughs> originally, originally the state was going to be start of the nasty ones, but this bonus stage before the nasty one with one life, no continues whatsoever. I would have tilted, man. I would have. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Blasphemous Roar, thank you for not being as evil as you could have no, been. No, <laughs> no. Thank Castilian for being a Castilian hero. He is a hero. Uh, honestly, though, you know, I've made arguments about this game being a good game in ways. Uh, you know, people say that the NES port is probably one of the worst ports out there. Uh, but that, like, it's... I That I think this game is enjoyable... And I've played some of the NES port, but I didn't make it as far as you two were in here. Am I wrong in saying that this is kind of a good game? You're no, wrong. I think I think literally the only thing that pushes it into being like worthy of a submission in Kuso are the controls. And, you know, some of the enemies that sync up just the wrong way to guarantee kill you. <laughs> right. Okay, As a so game itself, it's not bad. My review, my review of this, by the way, was so the level designs using the tower is actually really good, just in terms of how they use the fact that it wraps, but that's about it. Oh, I guess two jam and tunes. Too much trial and error, too many trap floors, too much BS. If this game controlled better, it'd be a great game, but it doesn't, so it's a bad one. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I agree with that assessment. That, okay. That sounds right to me. That actually sounds good. Uh, I mean, so all you, all you ROM hackers out there, if you want to like, separate the buttons, you know, and uh, release a ROM hack that allows you to shoot and jump using different buttons, that would be fantastic. <laughs> and then we can finally say that we have redeemed Castilian for the NES. <laughs> oh, Jack, um, it has been a pleasure having you on here having you in the tournament unfortunately you are eliminated be sure to hit me up about prizes so that i can try to remember to get them for you uh hit him up 17 times i'm Probably actually a you. okay roar i'm good at getting the steam games out really quickly or at you least are. within the same year i'm still waiting on my twisted pair dvd oh, oh my gosh <laughs> okay I'll, I'll go ahead and order that during, during our next match i just ordered the DVD for Blasphemous Roar during this <laughs> match. <laughs> I'll be a copy. Took me out of. <laughs> That's my trophy right there. <laughs> okay, I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll do that during this next match as long as I actually have your address. Jack, yeah. do you have any? Do you have any final words that um, we can put I just on your have, tombstone? I, I just have a question about this game because now that I'm really staring at this screen here. Is that, are those nostrils on the little green guy or is that a mustache? Look at the nostrils. Oh my gosh. You got a big old nose. Let me, let me go uh, ahead. On the, on the little life counter thing, I think it might be the way the bottom of the eyes is lining up, but it looks like he's got a big mustache on the end of his nose. Oh my gosh, he could, he could be like a super, sort of got the, fr the French, uh, the French mustache, you know? Someone else do French for me, I can't. Some graphic designer spent tens of minutes on this, and you're... It's called the French mustache! Oh, there we go. It's Julian, he is here to climb the towers and stop the aliens from stealing all of our beautiful gemstones! The two French guys watching the stream are like, I don't appreciate that. <laughs> Zandra, apologies to you I'm as so well. I'm so sorry, my French accent is 
awful and stereotypical, but Sacre Blue, I do not care. <laughs> you know what? Uh, yeah. Don Ravioli is very upset. <laughs> and Windrider Shiva and Zandra. You know what? <laughs> Stereotypical. It's more making fun of you, Blasphemous Roar, than making fun of anybody else at this point. So, good job. You have been mocked. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and say the phrase on your tombstone is, Is that a mustache? That's a good one. It like works it. for me. There we go. That sums it up. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jakazam, Tetsuya, and Blasphemous Roar. Tetsuya, I will go ahead and during this next little while get you uh, your last DVD set. Yes! <laughs> You've been waiting. It's been 1,000 years. No, it hasn't. It's been like one or two. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, so I'll I'll do you that. You can thank me for pestering him, Dad. I will do that during this stream. It's just that I have to jump through so many stupid loops on Neil Breen's website. Ugh. Okay. But take care. Thank you, Blasphemous Roar. Take care as well. I'll see you later. Bye, bro. Bye, Bye Kuzo. Bro. I love you. I guess I love you. That was weird. <laughs> well, let's go ahead. Everybody, thank you so much for being here watching Cusa Grande. And yeah, I do have a difficulty remembering to send things out. So if there are any prizes that I haven't sent to you, feel free to bother me on Discord. Uh, because I usually do get a few sent out when I get bothered. And Gene Genie, I apologize. I will. I know that you've bothered me a million times. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try so hard. 